Welcome back to Bunter's Yard and today we are just going to concentrate on the, um, the weathering and detailing of these bogies on this class 66 from Hornby uh, and there's quite a lot of detail in these bogies so it's worth um, spending a bit of time rather than just when it gets to the uh, that sort of part of the, the weathering process it's just rather to give it one coat of whatever colour you've got to hand so we're going to give it a little bit more attention than we normally would and we are going to be using a couple of shades of um, dirt and mud and they are just a few shades apart so they're not um, wildly sort of contrasting in colour so we're using brown green and then dirt which is going to be our first colour that's our darker of the two so we're going to use this fairly sparingly we're not going to go too uh, too heavy with this just need to make sure you get in from all the different directions because there's lots of different angles and bits that you could easily miss on uh, especially on these bogies um, because um, obviously as it goes around the corner you're going to start seeing the top of the uh, of the bogey so you need to make sure that's uh, got some color on that as well front and the back and also on the wheels as well now don't forget these wheels um, on this particular model two of the wheels two of the pairs of wheels will be driven so we need to later on just get that on the track so we can reveal the uh, the other sort of half of that wheel um, so we can um, get some get some paint on there as well I've noticed on a few of these 66s they have this kind of um, splash mark on the front. It's obviously something there. Maybe there's that pipe work that stops it getting muddy. But there's normally a little mark. So I thought I'd just, um, I would just do that. And we're going to go all the way along with this. Again, not too, uh, too heavy. I don't want to add too much of this on. It's going to be one of the dirtiest things I've ever done. see so that bit's not done so we need to that was freewheeling that wheel but we'll do the rest a bit later on so our next um, color is the brown green which is very slightly lighter and we are going to use this primarily to add um, like a highlight so you can see where the, um, the bogus sort of they um, so they go in and out so we're just going to use it on those sides just to add a little bit of highlight there um, and also on the battery boxes there just as a couple like a couple of streaks um, some runs of uh, dirt or grime that's run down from the side of the body same on that one so again it's not too uh, not too heavy with this uh, with particular color it's just to add a little bit of a uh, sort of difference in tone So to bring out the highlights and uh, sort of the detail, we're going to use a dry brush technique. Now this is um, a model here, one of the metallic uh, colours, it's still. And if you can see, if you wipe the brush off really, really uh, quite thoroughly, and then we just brush across, it will pick up any of those raised details, or the bolts and the edges especially. So we just need to go this really, really uh, lightly now this brush is uh, it's almost a no paint on it at all. We just um, wipe off as much as you can on the tissue. 
and then very gently sort of brush across any of the raised detail where you want this to show through. Now you may not want to use silver because it sort of um, it would suggest that the paints come off and we're back to the steel. You may want to use a dark brown to uh, create a sort of rust effect or um, if, you're, you, if you've got grey on, on the bogies, you may want to use black um, to sort of pick out the, uh, the highlight detail as well. So uh, lots of variations and the choice is up to you and whatever you're um, sort, of, sort of whatever you're modelling in really, what the environment that you're working towards. But I quite like it with this, um, this sort of still showing through so it just looks uh, nice and worn out. So we are now just going to use just a tiny bit of uh, weathering powders. We're only using um, just two colours on this. We're going to use this pigments uh, track rust. This is like a dark brown, and we're just using this just to pick out small areas. So we're using a smaller brush today. Just going to dot it in these places where you know water would settle, and um, it would encourage the rust to begin. So. Uh, those sorts of places there where you're going to catch the mud and uh, the wall is going to sort of sit there and start the rust process. So we're just going to dot it in just very gently with this brush and then with this, uh, another one which is a slightly larger and softer brush we're just going to just, uh, just soften the edges a little bit just smooth it in ever so slightly. And that just leaves uh, that different tone in those areas there. So it just uh, adds another dimension to it, I think. Again, you may want to use a, a, like a brighter coloured rust or even uh, a soot colour if you're going to um, sort of simulate brake dust, that sort of thing. One of our favourite um, products to use is the uh, AK Interactive's uh, axle shafts and bearing grease, and it, which is like a uh, um, dries slightly with a wet look. Um, but if we just dot it on, it will actually find its way. We're going to encourage it along a little bit with the soft brush. We're going to soften up the edge just ever so slightly with this one, so it looks like that patch of oil and fuel has been there for you know quite some time so the edges will be soft we just put an extra sort of dot or two underneath the, um, the holes where the where the fuel and oil has, uh, has come from we'll just leave it there and let it run and we'll get a slightly uh, sort of thicker effect and then maybe on these um, springs and uh, hydraulic parts here maybe we'll put some on there just to uh, just to add a bit more interest and don't forget you do need to clean these um, the wheels no not just on the rims but also on the sides there where the pickups go and you will get quite a bit from there I'm um, just using a dampened um, it's dampened with an airbrush cleaner but you can use IPA as well or a lighter fluid anything like that will uh, clean these off just make sure you clean them thoroughly and there's the uh, the finished um, article 
So I hope this has been of, of use to you and uh, of interest. If you've not already subscribed to the channel, please do, because we've got lots more to come. And um, we thank you for watching today and hope to see you very, very soon at Bunter's Yard. Have a good day.